Hello everyone. Chaplain Dell here again today. Going to do a little uh, overview of some of the things I've been learning in the spirit. Uh, and if you watch some of my videos, you know that I'm not a very well spoken man. Uh, I am totally and utterly dependent upon the grace and mercy of our my Lord Jesus Christ to listen, hear, and function as He uh, allows me to move. Um, one of the reasons for this is, of course, on my 20 years in the military uh, in water survival training, I was dead, and I have a uh, executive dysfunction, a uh, ADHD, um, brain-to-mouth um, disconnect going on within my person. So a lot of times it's very difficult to come off sounding well-educated or uh, being able to preach a good um, sermon as people are probably used to hearing but uh, even the Apostle Paul was said to be uh, weak in presence and contemptible in his speech and also as we know the scripture tells us that God chooses the foolish things to confound the wisdom of the wise um, also I've come to understand that you know, when the Pharisees came against Jesus, he quoted the scriptures, but it was not um, word per word. He wasn't exacting in the points that he was making because the Holy Spirit of God th spoke through him, and he more or less paraphrased a lot of the scriptures. And um, the Pharisees, the Pharisees, Pharisees, of course, knew this. And they became very irritated with him because he wasn't operating through the mind. He was operating through the spirit. And many people today, as we know, and I'm not saying that you shouldn't study to show yourself approved, which I have done for, I don't know, a good 30 years. At one time, I uh, was a lot better at pulling uh, scriptural verses and things off the top of my head and applying them. Uh, perhaps that I would have been today in a video, but that's that's the uh, that's the power of the flesh. That's the power of the the, the natural power, natural giftings, and uh, I choose to operate now in dependency upon my Lord, uh, and so He can flow through me supernaturally for those sheep that, of course, hear His voice. And many people think they belong to the Lord Jesus Christ, but they do not follow Him. So. With that being said, I want to read uh, a couple of things that I have um, um, jotted down here in my notes, and I hope they make sense to people about um, basic spiritual principles at work, which I have discovered in following Christ. And I do use a little scripture verse here, Luke 14, 26, the test of our hearts for the disciples of Jesus Christ. First off, I have listened to the Lord alone. Now, only a sheep can hear the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, Jesus told Peter, Peter, do you love me? Feed my sheep. But who are the Lord's sheep? Well, 1 John 4 tells us to discern by spirit who are the sheep for the Lord and also who are the counterfeits, who are the people that claim his name, but he does not know or do not know him. Uh, and a good shepherd is one who points people continually unto the Lord Jesus Christ and helps them avoid the pitfalls of, um, let's just say, religion. Because we can only know Christ by listening and following and Him alone and not within our spirits daily as He gives us light to see. It has nothing to do with our regiment or our theological or doctrinal understanding on an intellectual level it has to do with applying them on a spiritual level and of course when you apply doctrines on a spiritual level uh, they will never go against the teachings in the Holy Bible or the scriptures the second thing I have is discern by spirit who is the Lord's which I've already said so I'm just going to go down and read this God's grace is given only to people whom he chooses for his purpose. This is, has to do with God's election. God's elect for God's elect's sake. 
the people he chooses before the foundation of the earth. Satan has gone out and taught Bible to the wicked, to the heathen, people who do not belong to the Lord. Men in their own strength have gone out and preached the word to, um, you know, there's nothing wrong with evangelism. Don't misunderstand me. There's nothing wrong with evangel uh, preaching the gospel to people. But when you preach Bible and Bible doctrines and deep theology to people that don't know him, all it does is destroy the, the uh, true church because it just gives Satan more of a foothold. You just taught people who are not God's, God's principles. But I won't go into that uh, any further. Then, then I have disciples learn the truth of God by listening, experiencing, and function in the truths of God as they are given light to see and move by the Lord. They will not move in independence of being sent by God in Christ. Love not the world. It is not our job to save the world. It is our job to listen and be obedient to God's leading alone. And it is his work and his church, not ours. If you think it's your church, that's a counterfeit. You're an antichrist uh, in the sense that uh, you're trying to be Christ to people. No, it is his church. That's why we are to listen and be obedient to the Lord's leading alone, like I said. For it is his church. I will build my church, the Bible says. doesn't say anything about pasty going out and building churches. It's all pointing people back to Jesus Christ. All right, now the next thing I have is truth is not based on doctrinal positioning or even be able to quote Bible verses without impunity. And I wrote it that way because I put following the letter of the law. Okay, it's by spirit that we have revelation of God and in accordance with the scriptures. Um, it is based on listening, moving, and speaking spiritual truth principles using paraphrases. And this is what I said uh, a little earlier, so I guess I'm uh, be a little redundant here and some of the things I'm saying. But let me read that again. Truth is not based on doctrinal position or be able to quote the Bible verses without impunity following the letter of law. It is based on listening, moving, and speaking truth as given by the Holy Spirit alone. Even Jesus quoted the scriptures in pointing out spiritual truth principles using paraphrases is what I said earlier. The next thing I have is men go to seminary and Bible colleges to learn up theology, scriptural knowledge, doctrines, to put themselves into spiritual leadership positions before men. Men want to be God, small g, to build something for God within the world, which they have not been commissioned or called to build. God does not call us to build things for him in the world. He calls us to lead people into a deeper spiritual relationship with Jesus Christ. This is something that Satan has, uh, has uh, in creating a false church, has um, done through, you know, for a couple thousand years, well, at least 1,500 years now. <clears throat> they wish to be in command and control of their own lives and the lives of others, allowing nothing to infringe, pierce, or convict them of their error within their hearts or the institutions they have built for themselves. Disciples of Jesus Christ will suffer rejection and persecution within the world as they will not love the world nor be conformed to its ways. This persecution is especially hostile from religious leaders as proven when Jesus Christ and the apostles walked the earth and is still true today. So this is this is some of the notes that I've uh, I put down for myself the basic spiritual principles that I see uh, were um, other than following the Lord and being obedient to Him in your heart if you know Him uh, you will do you will do these other things that that men have built up for themselves and uh, like I said I'm not a I'm not a very um, good public speaker. Uh, and I have uh, I have brain injury because of the army, but um, I think if you listen to these principles, if you go over these principles, and perhaps I'll post them below the video. I'm not sure if I want to make them that public, but uh, this is all be a obedience to the Lord Jesus Christ, of listening to Him alone, and not being distracted by 
a false Christ. And this is uh, this is what uh, this is what the false church is. And I believe that God is uh, separating the wheat from the tares, the sheep who actually hear His voice, and those who do not or will not listen. And I've taken the broad road. You know, we we I've been raised a good Calvinist with tulip. You know, once saved, always saved. It's a matter of perspective, intellectual perspective, why men um, argue these doctrines, so-called Arminian and Calvinist doctrines. I believe in election. I believe in salvation by grace. It is not of our works. It is God's work. But I also believe that you can, if you refuse to be pruned, that you will be cut off and burnt. If you, um, you know, you, God does prune things out of your life. But if you refuse to be pruned, if you walk away from God, because this is why Paul said, I'm a bondservant to Christ. He chose to make himself a slave to Christ because he knew that he, he could walk away from the Lord if he wanted to. And this is a lie uh, that has been perpetrated by the devil who knows his Bible very well. You can't get into it intellectual debate on these things. These things are spiritual if you know the Lord. And this is one of the points that I have to make. So uh, over half the scriptures is talking about love not the world, but love the Lord. And another problem the church does is that they have this idea that God loves everybody. God loves his children Israel, the new Israel in the New Testament. They are raised up for his purpose. And this pluralistic idea about uh, anything goes, which we see today in the ecumenicalism and, and all kinds of things, is, is a lie straight from the pit because God loves and chooses his sheep and his people to follow him by grace if you've been having the opportunity to become sons and daughters of God. So it's your choice if you want to continue to follow the Lord or if you're going to take the broad road and be comfortable within the world. And most people that are what I call type two Christians decide, well, it's much easier just to play church and learn good Bible doctrine than it is to be uh, to have Jesus Christ in command and control of your life. So um, this is why I wrote this little, uh, well, I did this little video today. God bless you all that can get through my videos. Uh, I hope that um, that God may use me to touch somebody's heart and. Uh, in doing this, I, I feel like a pioneer today. I was talking to a, a brother earlier that said that, you know, there there's few people today, uh, and most of your great Christian men of the past have long passed over, but there's few people today that uh, pioneer who listen in spirit and move in the Lord um, that uh, we've been able to um, uh, fellowship with. All right, God bless. Without further ado, I'm going to say goodbye. Good night.